Hi God blessings, this is part 2 of Remain Strong in the Faith Colossians 2, 6-7. Dear God as I go to school today, please be with me and protect me, Amen. It's time to go Daniel. Wait were you praying? I told you to not pray. Come here now. If I ever see you pray again I shall beat you mercilessly until you learn. <laughs> now get in the car. Come on, it's time for you to go to school. Hey what's wrong with you? You seem down. It's nothing. I put it in God's hands only he can help me. Okay students. Today you will learn about evolution. Now can anyone tell me how the world began? Danielle. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God made day and night. He made the sun and the moon. He made space and the stars. He made nature and water. He made the sea creatures and animals. He made us humans in his image. That is how everything began. <laughs> Danielle, this is school, not church. I would advise you to not speak such nonsense here. We teach education here not fairy tales. There is a reason why we have separation from church and state. Now who else would like to answer the question? Manny. At lunchtime. Danielle why did you talk like that in the class? You should know better, this isn't church, it's school. The teacher asked and I told the truth Katya. The Bible tells us the truth of how everything began. There's no such thing as evolution, God made everything. Okay if you say so but next time please don't answer the teacher. If you don't have the correct answer the school will laugh at you and you'll embarrass me. I can't promise that I won't speak. God gave me a mouth and I will speak of him. I will speak what is correct and true according to his words. Let's just eat okay. Before we do, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father God, bless this food we are about to eat. Sanctity it and cleanse it from any unclean thing Lord. Thank you Amen and Amen. You didn't say Amen Katya. Yeah Amen whatever now let's eat please. Afterwards. Why in the world did you call me to this bathroom? It's utterly disgusting ooh ooh ooh. Abigail I'm sorry but the deal is off. I can't take miss preaching. All she does is talk about Jesus and I can't stand it. She's driving me crazy. So, just deal with it for a little longer. The party is tomorrow. If you blow it now we'll miss the perfect opportunity. Don't let me down now. Fine but I will not go through it no longer till tomorrow. I don't care what happens to her. I just can't stand her. I can't take it anymore. Or what's the matter? Getting a little uncomfortable. I heard the preachers call that conviction. Maybe it's what you got. <laughs> It's not funny, Abigail. Don't you dare put your hands on me ever again or I'll kill you, understand? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just don't hurt me anymore, okay? I'm sorry. You better be. Just chill, okay? I said I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Now go out there and stay pretending to be her friend, understand? This plan will work or you'll have to answer to me, got it? Yeah, I got it. After school. Thanks for walking with me home, Katya. I just didn't want my dad to drive me home. Of course, what are friends for? Anyways, Danielle, I want to ask you something. What is it? There is a party tomorrow and I would like for you to come with me. It's just for fun, and another fun side is that there are no parents around which makes it better, so what do you say? I never been to a so-called party and I don't feel like I should go, something doesn't seem right Katya. Girl please, the party is fun, nothing is wrong with it plus side I don't wanna go alone, now I'm pretty sure your god isn't against fun right? I don't know Katya I... Come on I'll be with you and won't let anything happen to you, we'll have fun. I guess. Good, I'll pick you up at 8 p.m. The next day, 6 p.m. Jesus, I'm going to a party but before I go I wanted to see if you are okay with it. No my child I am not. As my child, you should not bridge partakers with those who are of the darkness. 2 Corinthians 6 14-18 Their bad company will corrupt your good morals my daughter. 
I knew it wasn't right to go. I don't know why I got all dressed to go Lord knowing that you let me know yesterday even that I shouldn't go. Thank you Lord for telling me. My child, I look out for you because I love you and care about you. Psalms 23. I know that Jesus, so I won't be going. I love you and thank you for always being there for me. Daniel your friend is here to take you to the party. Dad I want to ask you, how come you are okay with me going to a party but not okay with me praying to God? I told you to not mention that name ever again, going to a party is human nature, it's natural for humans to have fun, it's okay but praying to imaginary sky daddy is insanity, that's what's the difference now go to your friend, before she leaves. But daddy God is real. Shut up shut up shut up. Hey. Just go before I do something to you. Now. Are you ready to go girlfriend? Katya why are you dressed so? Sexy. Yeah I wanna be noticed. But Katya, before I say anything let's sit down and talk. Ugh fine but don't take too long. Katya, as your friend I have to tell you the truth. In Timothy 2, 9 to 10 evidently, the Ephesian women were flaunting their clothing and makeup. It is unscriptural for a woman to want to be sexy for attention. Today, to what degree should women take this advice about fixing their hair or wearing gold, pearls or expensive clothes? Paul was not prohibiting these things, he was simply saying that women should be careful about drawing attention to themselves through how they dress. Modesty and decency are the key ideas. Gentle, modest and loving character gives a light to the face that cannot be duplicated by even the best cosmetics. A carefully groomed and well-decorated exterior may be artificial and cold without good character. The general rule for women and men emphasizes that both behavior and dress must express submission to and respect for Jesus Christ. I know you aren't a Christian Katya but the way you are dressed is not good at all. As 13 years old we need to not dress this way. There's more to life than clothes Katya. There's more to life than partying. Jesus is our purpose and to glorify him is what we were made for. Remember Katya, if you don't come to Jesus now do know that it's not fake news friend, judgment day will happen to each and every one of us and God is being merciful by giving us all time to get right with him because on that day all that will matter is that you were born again by his Holy Spirit and that you had a relationship with him, John 3, 3, 335, on that day God will reveal everything you have said, done, thought about, nothing will be hidden, Matthew 12 36-37, Luke 8 17, Acts 17 31, John 5 22, Romans 2, 5 to 6, Revelation 20, and your soul will eternally go to heaven or hell depending upon your choice on this earth while you were alive and your response to Jesus and his sacrifice, Romans 5, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 John 5 12, while you are alive, God is calling you and everyone else to repentance, Luke 13, 1 to 5, Acts 17, 30, to Peter 3, 9. He has his hand out offering salvation and forgiveness of sin and redemption to us all while we are alive. John 3.16-18. Get right with God because you only get one life in this life and after you die you get no second chances. Hebrews 9.27. Believe and repent of your sins and God will forgive you and cleanse you by Jesus' blood from all your sins and unrighteousness and then make you born again by his Holy Spirit. John 3. I'm not trying to scare you, but the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, Proverbs 1, 7. I'm not going to the party out of the Lord's words to me, I suggest you don't go to instead go home and seek after God. You know what I gotta go now, bye. See you later, God bless you. Yeah sure, at the party. Why did you leave our Katya? Aren't you having a good time? I just don't feel good Abigail, I want to go home. But the party is just started. Yes, but I wanna go home now, bye. At Katia's home. Sweetheart, what's the matter? You came back home so early, what happened? Mom, I just want to be left alone now, okay. Okay, sweetheart, I'll go back downstairs with your dad and if you need anything let us know. Sure. Can't believe I'm about to do this but I must I can't ignore this anymore. God, I heard you, I know it's you calling me. I can't ignore you anymore, I'm ready to give my life to you. This is it for part 2 of Remain Strong in the Faith. Part 3 will come out soon.
God bless you. And I pray this video inspired you to stand up more for your faith in Christ our Lord God and only Savior.